Hi everyone and welcome back. Today we're watching some more Breaking Bad. We're at season 2 episode 13. It's the season 2 finale. And last episode ended on a crazy, crazy note. He let Jane die. And uh, like I mentioned in my, well, last week on the post, when I was editing, um, I noticed that, you know, when he tried to wake Jesse up, it kind of pushed Jane on her back, right? Because she was on her side, just like Jesse, they were, they were spooning and it knocked her onto her back. And then she started choking. So I know that that wasn't his intention. He wasn't like, here you go. But he's the one who pushed her unintentionally onto her back. And then that's like, he was about to help her. He was like, wait a second. So that's interesting. Unintentional uh, murder that became intentional after. Well, by omission. Murder by omission to help. <laughs> so yeah, I'm so... Uh, I just want to get back into it and see what's going to happen. This episode is titled ABQ, which I have no idea what it stands for, but let's just get back into it. It's not a real eye, is it? Oh, it's... <laughs> that eye. <laughs> That's Walter's house, right? <laughs> okay, let's see how we get there. <laughs> really sad. S slow down. Slow, slow down. He knows. I just, of course just he take knows. a deep breath. Listen, to, listen to me. Are you listening? Everything is going to be okay. I promise. No, nothing. Listen, calm down. Sit tight. I know who to call. Saul so Goodman sent me. For what? Mm. Clean up the the scene. Any other drugs in the house? Oh, so that they can't. What about guns? You got any guns in the up? house? Here's your story. You woke up. You found her. That's all you know. Say it. <laughs> Say it. I woke up, I found her, that's all I know. I woke up, I found her, that's all I know. Again. I woke up, I found her, that's all I know. I woke up, I found her, that's all I know. Do I need to state the obvious? I was not here. He must feel no, so awful, um, obviously, but he wasn't, he, it didn't even feel like he was fully mm -hmm. into it, you know, when Walter showed up and... Junior. You know what, Skylar? I've been better. Flynn, get your butt in here. Oh my god, mom, dad, come here, you gotta see this. ka -ching. Seriously. Total Strangers gave us four, $490, 20, 26 people, Virginia, Mi Minnesota, Montana. I isn't this awesome? It is. That's, wow, that, that is something. 
Thank you, son. Thank you. This is a big, big help. <laughs> I'm on my way. I'm going to be there momentarily. I expect Aww. you on the porch, bag packed, ready to go. No excuses. My heart breaks for him. That must have been like his worst nightmare for the longest time. Sir, you may not want to be here for this. I just uh, woke up and uh, I found her. That's all I know. What's her date of birth? Um, he doesn't know. April, um, April 4th, 1982. Okay. <laughs> Some you already know my brother-in-law. He's a good man. The doctor's saying this operation has a real chance of helping him. All right, all right. How is it that the purest, most professional grade of meth we've ever come across is being swung by the likes of that? James Edward killed Kelly. Yeah. APD thinks this is our mastermind. Maybe, uh, maybe if you give him a pack of cigarettes, he'll tell you what he did with Jimmy Hoffa. No, no, no. No, no, no. They know him. I've been it's funny because... Uh, certain shots you could see uh, Walter's picture you know because he had his picture for the surgery fund <laughs> they could have just took the picture put it on the board <laughs> no you don't want that but it's still it's still pretty uh, funny I don't recommend it APD has been known to sit on this place keep an eye on the comings and goings how about you go on home Walter let me handle this handle what We're looking for Jesse. Oh. Hey, man, that's some free man's. Oh God. Jesse, 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 it's me. It's Walt. It's Walt. Thank you, sir. Put your arms around me. You're gonna stand up. Get him to rehab. Walk out of here, okay? We're gonna take you someplace nice and safe. That's it. That's it. Let's go. Come on. Here we go. Crying. <laughs> oh. I killed her. It was me. I got her back. Up. Oh, Jesse, look at me. You didn't kill anybody. Oh. I love her more than anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <sighs> wow. There's no yellow dress here. It's all it's all black and gray. I want blue. Blue's better than black, right? I mean blue is blue. No. It looks purple to me. Long sleeves. Yeah. It's nice. It's nice. Oh, big, big yawn. There we go. Yes. Would you mind turning that thing down or off? The noise is disturbing. The baby. Aunt Marie's patients works at the journal, and when she told him about the website and all the donations, he went to his editor, and they're going to do a story about you. For real? Yep. They're coming to interview you with a photo and everything. Awesome. <laughs> wow. Gentlemen, this is Supervising Agent Hank Schrader. Agent Schrader, I'd like you to meet Andrew Kaufman of the Adobe Hotel and Gustavo Fring of Los Poyos Hermanos. Please, just Gus. Hi, Gus. 
These gentlemen are underwriting this year's fun run, and I thought I would give them a tour. Absolutely. Good to see what you're supporting. Thank you, gentlemen. Is this one of your agents? Oh, uh, yeah, no, no. It's, it's my brother-in-law. Yeah, he's got a health issue we're, we're trying to. Oh, I'm, I'm very sorry. Lung cancer. Oh, that, that's a rough one. Oh, hey, hey, hey you, you, don't, you don't have to do that. Please, please. I, I'm, I'm happy to do it. Did you recognize him? Thank you very much. Welcome. Oh shit. Just so you know, I won't be back for a while. Can I have my surgery on Friday? I deserve this. What? What you said in the desert. I get it. What you meant. Hmm. I deserve whatever happens. No, you don't. I. I'm wondering how long will we keep this secret oh, shit. of what actually happened because it's bound to come back. I just don't know when. It'll be a big, big thing. Oh, oh, there he is. This is Dad. Great. Uh, let's get everyone over here on the couch. I'm thinking Walt Jr. in the middle, Mom and Dad on either side. Mom and Dad? We don't even know what to say. It's just, it's, it's been incredible. <laughs> Walter is like you and other folks have written about him. Your dad must be quite a guy. Mm. He is. He, he's the best. Do you, Walter? No, no, it's too. We love him. <laughs> he's always there for you. He, he's he's just decent, and he, he always does the right thing, and that's how he teaches me to be. Mm. Would you say he's your hero? He doesn't totally. feel like my, my dad is my hero. A hero. D d d does that put him to sleep? This one just relaxes him a little. Looking at her ring? Well. Wow. I don't know what this stuff is, but it's pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> oh, they'll probably want me to take your glasses. Mm, yeah, you better. Yeah, okay. Nah. Okay. <laughs> Where's your phone? Hmm? Your cell phone, did you bring it? Which one? Hmm. Oh, cause he's uh, kinda I'm, high. I'm, per, I'm, I'm pretty sure he didn't, he didn't bring it, Mom. Oh, shit. Walt. Well, first things first, how old is that baby now and when do I finally get to meet her? No, I was actually thinking of bringing her today, but. She's um seven weeks tomorrow. Se seven nights. Yeah. How's your pain level, Walt? Uh, it's, it's very low. Playing with basically. her ring. So um, when could he get back to his normal routine? Make an ease into it now. Make sure you avoid any heavy lifting and continue to get plenty of rest. Um, but he can be on his own. I mean, just more you know independent. Yes. Mm -hmm. Use your best judgment. No, that's good news for you. Uh -huh. One less baby in the house. <laughs> she been, uh... You know. Hey, you too. With, uh... Hey, Welcome back. It's his face. Ted. Thanks. It's good to be back. Oh. But, you know, we've all been uh, thinking about you, and, uh... You've been doing okay? I'm doing okay. After a certain point, time off doesn't help so I figured I'd rather be here focus on work sure mm. absolutely decided to maintain one three thousand two of the consequences altimeter two nine or nine or eight that looks like a serious center one three four point adult job I <laughs> think I may just keep this yeah it looks good on you Walt I'm going to Hank and Marie's for the weekend I'm taking the baby with me. Hey. Maybe we'll pick up Walter Jr. from school. I want you to pack your things and leave. Why would I do that? Did he say something else or was it just about the the phone? Okay. Because you're a liar, Walt. Two cell phones after all. I asked if you had packed your cell phone and you said which one? It was a joke. He was joking. When? Skylar, I was medicated. The money? 
for your treatment, Gretchen and Elliot didn't give you a dime. They paid for nothing. Over $100,000. Out of where? Out of thin air. What do we do? I called your mother. You never went. He was never she there. She didn't even know that you had cancer. Oh, shit. Lies on top of lies on top of lies. Skylar. Could you? Just once. Do me the courtesy. All right. Five if minutes. I tell you the truth, will you stay? Whatever it is, I'm afraid to know. No, nah, you're right. You're right to be afraid. Mm. Hey, careful! You have a baby in the car. She's like, no. Wait for a 515 radio check. Aircraft calling, please stand by. Jane Mike 21, turn heading. Disregard. Wait for a 515, descend to 10,000. Juliet Mike 21, do you have that traffic? Wait for a 515. Oh. Skylar left and she wants Walter gone and you know what I can't I can't blame her honestly if if I'm her I probably would do the same thing but I'm so curious that I still would want to know even though I'd be scared I'd be like yeah tell me but I guess yeah once you rule out the affair which, you know, he wasn't lying when he said, I'm not having an affair. He didn't lie. Well, he's having an affair with meth. But, yeah, okay. I would want to know. <laughs> My nosy ass would want to know. But I guess she's just like, Ugh, it doesn't matter. Like, you lied enough. I'm sick of it. I'm done. Maybe she'll ask for explanations later, but she was, I guess her state of mind was just like, I need to get out of here. Especially since like she's been holding it in, right? Because she couldn't leave him alone. She wanted him to, she wanted to make sure that he was okay after his surgery and everything. And as soon as she knew that it was fine for him to be on his own, she was like, I'm out. I'm out. So yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if they completely separate you know and like even go as far as having a divorce it's not off the table he did screw himself by saying that he was high medicated he said which one and i would have played it off as like i was kidding you know because you said that i had two phones at some point so we just haha Haha, <laughs> but it wouldn't have been enough for him to play it off because she already had done her research. I'm sure that everything that led her, you know, everything she found out, she just wanted. She at so at this point it was impossible for him to deny. It was impossible for for him to like gaslight her into being like, "Oh no, you you just you know, I, I have an explanation for this. Okay, but do you have an explanation for this, this, and that? Like, it was undeniable. I get it. She left. She's gone. Um, and their future is unstable and uncertain. She left with the baby. Don't like that. But I guess, you know, he's maybe not up to 100%, so he still needs to recover. But yeah. That was the end of season two. And there was this, uh, like, these two planes. Because at first I was like, what is he 
doing? It looked like it was something to do with up there. Plane traffic, I guess. They're just like making sure that everything's fine and trying to make sure that planes don't run into each other, <laughs> which they did. And that's where the stuffed animal comes from. But there was also two bodies, so I guess some people are going to maybe fall fall in front of his house and that's like where the why the body bags were there evidence uh there was like helicopters so yeah that's not clear but i guess we'll deal with that next episode right the start of season three but that was so heartbreaking and i guess the dad you know jane's dad he maybe wasn't uh focused you know doing his job he said that time off didn't help, but maybe there was a reason why he had some time off. Maybe his job is, like, you need to be completely focused. And there was a, a word he said, Jane. And I guess, you know, maybe the names of the planes. So, yeah, code words just, um, and that threw him off. He was sweating. So he, his head wasn't there when it should have been. And I guess that's what contributed to the collision so yeah other than that jesse's in rehab where he should be he blames himself and you could see that walter like he he didn't feel good right and when he went and picked him up at this like crack house he called him son and then he cried in his arms and it's just like it, my heart breaks for Jesse, my heart breaks for Jane's dad, my heart breaks for Jane, basically, and also for Walter, because, you know, when uh, Jane's dad was choosing a, a dress for Jane, and he was, like, laying it out on the, on the bed, then it cut, and it was Walter, like, changing Holly, right? So it's just two men with daughters who they love, and uh, one of them is dead and they're linked without actually knowing that they are right so i think that was interesting and the whole thing with well j just like jesse and walter it it's like i said it's a bomb i just don't know when it's gonna blow up when the secret will be out that walter was actually there and he could have stopped it and he didn't right but uh, that was so freaking, it was amazing, but amazingly heartbreaking. The whole story with uh, Junior raising money and talking about his dad and being like, oh, he's a good guy. He always does the good thing and he's such a good man. And with everything that happened, Walter, I guess he doesn't identify to that. So maybe he feels like he doesn't deserve it, like the praise. So that was interesting, but he knows where the money's coming from. But yeah, that was great. I'm so excited for season three. That was a hell of a season. <laughs> and uh, it just keeps getting better and better. That was season two, episode 13, ABQ. We'll see you guys next time for the start of season three. So I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.